Nvidia has started 2021 with a bright and fresh start by announcing their new GPU series, the RTX 30 series for laptops. In the past, traditionally, Nvidia has used CES to launch the latest in gaming laptops as well as display technologies. And this year it was no different, except for Nvidia has taken a slightly different approach by announcing their new Ampere GPU architecture last year. They have launched a new Ampere series of GPU in 2020 by introducing the new RTX 3090, 3080, 3070 and 3060 Ti, which have drastically improved the gaming performance in most games using RTX technology. This new graphic cards took the industry by storm and shortages unfortunately caused many gamers to become upset. Even until now, in January 2021, it's really hard to get your hands on one of those graphic cards. But with 2020 in rear mirror, Nvidia has decided to launch their 30 series RTX graphic cards for laptops. The new RTX 30 series graphic cards come at the time where AMD and Intel are competing between themselves for performance leadership. And laptop OEMs are excited to pair the latest CPU from AMD or Intel with the new graphics cards from NVIDIA RTX 30 series. Pairing the cutting edge CPUs from AMD 5000 series with NVIDIA RTX 30 series will give the consumers an impressive increase in performance in the thinner and lighter laptops. Along with the new laptop GPUs, NVIDIA has also introduced some system level improvements such as Max-Q 3.0, Dynamic Boost 2.0, Whisper Mode 2.0 and Resizable Bar. The idea behind Dynamic Boost 2.0 is to increase GPU or VRAM power at the expense of CPU power when a game would benefit from it, thereby increasing frame rates in the GPU bound scenarios. This works on a frame by frame basis, thereby allowing for a quite dynamic power allocation. Whisper Mode 2.0 runs the other way, minimizing heat and noise in exchange for lower performance. This now runs at the system level rather than in GeForce experience. Resizable Bar is an advanced PCIe feature that allows the game to get full access to GPU memory. This feature is like what AMD is calling a smart access memory, except it's NVIDIA, and NVIDIA says it's going to be working with AMD processors as well as Intel processors on a wide range of motherboards later this year. And great news, laptops with RTX 30 series will start shipping January 26 with RTX 3080 and RTX 3070 with a price of $1999 for the version with 3080 graphics card and $1299 for the version with 3070. Entry level laptops with RTX 3060 will start at $999 and will be shipped on February 2nd. And RTX 3060 is not only launching on laptops but also as a desktop part. RTX 3060 is not to be confused with RTX 3060 Ti, already launched last year. The RTX 3060 card features 12GB of GDDR6 memory, meaning that it has more VRAM than both RTX 3060 Ti and the RTX 3070, which have just 8GB. It also has a faster 15 gigabit per second memory compared to 14 gigabit per second on the RTX 3060 Ti and RTX 3070. However, this is somewhat balanced by its 192-bit memory interface, which is narrower than the 256-bit equivalent on the two more expensive cards. Compute is also reduced significantly, with the 3060 having only 3584 CUDA cores compared to 4864 on the 3060 Ti and 5888 on the 3070. The smaller GPU means that the card is able to draw less power than the 3060 Ti with a rated TDP of 170 Watt compared to 200 Watt on the Ti. The RTX 3060 is believed to be available in late February with a starting price of 329. Hopefully Nvidia is going to increase the supply so it's not going to be similar to last year where, where basically not many people were able to get one. And as mentioned before, availability begins on January 26, with Nvidia promising more than 70 models featuring their new RTX 30 series graphic cards from manufacturers such as Acer, Asus, Dell, Gigabyte, Lenovo, Razer and many others. So definitely excited to see when they're going to be available for testing and to see actual benchmarks, how they perform in the real life versus what we've seen on paper. 
And of course, hopefully they're not gonna be as scarce as before with the RTX 30 series graphic cards. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you do, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos, and let me know if you're planning to buy one of them laptops this year, and if you have actually waited for the new RTX 30 series mobile graphics card to become available, didn't wanna purchase one from last year, because I know some people were actually waiting for this announcement from the NVIDIA, which was scheduled for the CES 2021, because you could get a laptop, let's say in December, for the same price that you can theoretically get a laptop soon in January or maybe in February, with a faster GPU and a faster processor with the same price. So I'm actually curious, guys, how many of you were aware of this and were waiting for the new GPU as well as the new AMD 5000 series, because that's another big announcement we have heard on the CES 2021. And if you want to know more about the new generation 5000 series Ryzen processors, it's going to be in the link up here. And I'm also going to put a link in the description. So go ahead and check it out. It's really interesting. And again, thank you guys very much for watching. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And for now, this is it. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.